Hey everybody, have you started your puzzle motif yet? If you haven't, why not? We are having tons of fun creating and doing different things with this puzzle motif. Today we're going to be working on it in P Design 10 and 11, so stay tuned. All right, here we are in PE Design 11, and I'm going to say 10 as well. PE Design 11 is an upgrade, but not a whole lot has changed. There's a few extra things, but if you have 10, it is just pretty close. It's interchangeable, I would say. I think the big deal about PE Design 11 is for the Luminaire. It works wirelessly and you have to have PE Design 11. So otherwise, don't worry about it. A couple extra things. So PE Design 10, PE Design 11. Let's make our puzzle piece. So there's two steps in this. Now I'm going to show you the first step. Um, that's easy. I'm just going to whip through it. It is basically the same as Hatch, and I've already done a video on that, so you might want to review it. Maybe I should put a video link so you can go back to, to do it. I am going to show you how to do it, but just not all of it. So the first thing we need to do is go here to Image, and we're going to open our image, and we're going to open it from file, and this is the one I want. Now, this is a little bit dark. Apologies for that, but we can still work through it. Let's go back to home, and down here on my ribbon, I, I haven't quite finished setting it up, but I do have some things on it that's easier. And what it is, uh, just shortcuts. So I want uh, an open curve single line. So click, click, click. And we're only going to go halfway on this one because I want it to be symmetrical. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it's going to help. Okay, well, we do not want a zigzag stitch. I forgot to change it. So let's change it now. Wait, we got to go back to our select tool. Doesn't really matter the color right now, and I might want to edit the points, but it is, you know, supposed to be just how you want to do it. So let's uh, zoom in, look in. I just want to make this a little bit nicer. Probably get rid of a node. And then we can use the Bezier curves on this one. You just pull it out to make it balance up. I think that's good enough. I'm not that worried about it today. So there we go. That looks pretty smooth. Maybe a little bit here. You guys can fiddle with it if you want. The first one is the most important one because we are going to uh, be copying it all over the place. So I just did modified image and bye-bye image. So that's cool. I can make this just a little bit smaller. And we are going to build up our puzzle piece, and it's really easy to do and kind of fun too. It's, uh, it's pretty good. So we're going to use the tools that we have at our disposal. Because if you're not using the tools, you should be. And under here, I'm in the Home tab and Arrange and Copy, and you have all the tools that you need for this. So I'm going to... Okay, and here is our first piece. I think that's cool. So far, so good. You may or may want to group it. It doesn't really matter at this point. We're going to go back to the Arrange and Copy. And we're going to copy it this way. Just guess at it. See what I mean? This is exactly the same as the uh, as Hatch. And then all you have to do is turn these around and put them all together. And then all you need is a graphic from it. But I have done that for you. So we can... Uh, just go into and create it. If you don't, if you want the practice to create this part, go ahead. If not, we'll just skip into uh, into the creative, the the motif creating part, and you can just use the image. Now you can find the image in the OML Embroidery University Facebook group, and it's just in the file section, so it's there. So let's go here to Options. All right, so what we're going into is the Programmable Stitch Creator. So let's click on that. Let's get that open. All right, so I like having this part up. It's just a preview, 
um, that we can use just to see how well we're doing on it. This is our screen that we're working on. Now you have view and you have options. I have taken off the grid because it snaps to it, which makes it um, a little difficult. You can do guidelines, but the basic ones that we need are right there. And we're going to open a template, but let's go over what we're doing. So not all of these tools are available for you. It depends on what design you're doing. And you go up to here where it's pretty stitches and we want new motif pattern. Make sure you have that selected. Different kind of preview here. Now, all of these controls are now uh, grayed out and you can't use them. You can use zoom, you can use pan. All of this stuff is for another stitch type. Let's do fill pattern. There we go, so region, all that kind of stuff. Let's try this one, decorative fill and some of the other ones are available. So we want to go to Motif. Let's stay on Motif. There's not a whole lot of tools that are available, but that's okay. We can do this. We can do this. So I want to go to View and Open Template, and we will bring this one in and click Open. And it's a little bit big, but actually it's not too bad. You don't have to worry too much about size um, as long as it fits in. And it has to be on an angle and it has to be, you know, matching like this because otherwise uh, you're going to have spaces and it doesn't, it doesn't look as nice. So I just clicked off and we are good to go. Now, you see this green arrow? That's telling us that's start and that's finish and that's going to connect on to the other one. So, okay, go to home and it's a little bit confusing, but you really don't have any tools to work with. I thought I could use the draw line and I thought that would be handy, but you can't. So uh, we're going to go to select point and this is how you do it. Now, again, on this one, it's a little bit different than hatch and we'll call me four. You have to plot around it and then you have to plan it just a little bit because you're, you've got to go this way and end there, but that's only going to be half. So you do the whole thing, but then you have to do it again to get over here to end. So one of the sides, whichever way you decide to do it, one of the sides has to be done twice. And if you do it carefully, it doesn't show as much as you think it will. It still looks great. So what we're going to be doing is adding points. So I'm just adding one. I'm going to stretch this one right up and then I'm going to put another one in. So our starting point looks perfect. And uh, all you have to do is just put the points around. So it takes a few minutes to do. You got to make sure you don't get lost in it. There's been a few people in the group that get lost because you have to keep it strung out. Now, another thing that you don't want to do is you don't want to do too many points. All right, this isn't going to be a huge design. You want it to look decent, but you don't need a hundred gazillion points. Uh, we found out, or maybe it's in Embird. Uh, Embird actually has a limit to the amount of points you can do. But you see, it's it's a little bit confusing because I got to drag this line around because we have to remember where the end part is. But other than that, it's just clicking to add a point. It's a little bit annoying and flashy, but that's okay. We can do it. I much prefer, um, not that I'm criticizing uh, the software, but I much prefer just being able to create it with all the tools that I have available and then just say, here software, here, you make it a motif. That's all I want. It's easier. Now, do take your time. My computer is having some technical difficulties and it's really slow. So I'm probably going to speed it up a little bit. So we're not here all day 
placing points but you guys get the idea of how to do it isn't that fantastic it's not that hard now now that we're done the halfway you can't take this one and you know keep going on it so what I like to do is just pull it out of the way okay because you're got you need to remember your direction and what you're doing so that's out of the way it does have to go back but we'll be able to put it back and there we go oh my computer is just going to give me a hard time today I am going to move this back now you can zoom in and like I said take your time try to match things up a little bit better and uh, you know kind of make the curves whoops I keep clicking on the wrong thing because it's flashing so much hopefully that's not so annoying for you guys it's kind of annoying for me all right so let's uh, I'm gonna sit here and do it and we're gonna speed it up so uh, through the magic of editing you guys can get to it faster Okay, so now we're done. There we have it. Doesn't that look great? Now I would go back and adjust a few, but you guys get the idea of what it is. Now I made a few mistakes and they weren't even still, they're not in great placement. And you can just go back when it turns black, it's activated and you just place it and just make sure the second one is right directly on top of it and it'll look great so we've done it did you notice in the preview here that looks fantastic that's exactly what we want make sure we save so why don't we do that right now let's let's save um and it's going to go right into our pattern so we're going to call this puzzle two because i already have one because i was playing with it <laughs> of course and once you've saved it we are good to go we called it puzzle two double check save as you could do that so we have now created our puzzle motif so let's go to a shape and i did this one in a flower because i thought you know what we could be a little different and do different shapes so hold down what is it shift to constrain it yes it's shift in this i sometimes get confused in my software okay there it is finally i don't know what's going on with my computer but we have an outline whoops sorry you click on it it's uh outline and a fill stitch so i'm going to right click and there it is so running stitch and a fill stitch now we do want to change this to motif stitch and that looks good that's not what we want though we want the one that we just did so click on the folder right there and we should some of these are really cute we should be able to find it M N O P puzzle two that's the one we just did rock it out there we go okay that is really small you see how that turned out now this design here 
is only six by six, so it's not that big. So we can play around with the size. So click on maintain aspect ratio, and we're gonna click the numbers up. Look down here, you can see, and give it a sec to calculate it out. I still want that bigger, that is not big enough. And calculate it out. There we go, we have our puzzle. Now you know how to, you know, adjust the size, give your computer a little minute to think about it, but isn't that cute? That is how you create the puzzle motif that we all love here inside PE Design 10 and 11. Now there's a lot of things you can do with this puzzle um, motif. We are gonna be doing a um, family a family project this weekend and we're going to do it live and it's going to be tons of fun and we're going to make the inception mug rug so puzzle inception so uh if you don't know what that is you need to tune in and uh, we've talked about it quite a bit in the oml embroidery Facebook group. So I'd like you guys to please share this video so more people can get in on the fun. We're actually having so much fun with this and we are going to keep creating with it. So like if you like this video, subscribe if you haven't because we have tons more stuff. I just go with the flow, whatever you guys want. That's what I do a video on. So um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.